the government needs to be accountable. Do you get? If I do it alone, it may not work. But if we, if we are posting and saying government need to do something about these people, it will work. But if only one person does that, it, it may not work. So on our social media, let's ask government to, to, to be accountable to these people. You cannot come and dump some people here and just disappear. Hello, welcome to Golden Heart Show, a show where we bring you information on how to go about reaching out to the less privileged. We also showcase those people who are into humanitarian actions in our society. You're welcome to Golden Heart Show, a show where we meet, we talk, and we share it. I am Chizo Bachukora, your host. You're welcome once again. Some time ago, we went to showcase a project tagged Five Books and a Pen, organized by the PCG Foundation. If you've not watched the video, please click on the link showing right now by your right hand side and do watch it. After the Five Books and a Pen project, we decided to go for a tour around the IDP camp at um, New Kuchingoro, Abuja. And we decided to bring it to your view so that you could see the condition of living in the camp. So just stick around and watch. So we gave Aisha 1,000 and in two weeks we were able to turn over 1,500, that's 2,500. Wow. So she's, she's 
she was selling eggs. So the business is not moving again. So she turned to another business. <laughs> Yes, they come to greet you. I brought a whole crowd. They come to greet you for what you've been doing in this room. Absolutely. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So Auntie Anetu, uh, when she was still an, an adolescent in their village, they were not allowed to go to school. And so somehow, somehow, the grandfather came visiting and chased her to school. So going to school is like two hours, two hours trek, through and fro, that's four hours. And then after then, she finished secondary school, did her NCE. So the Enoch, you know Enoch? The guy on blue top. Um, the, you know, the one with light blue and the one with blue top and another one. So three of them, she in turn taught them in. Uh, primary and secondary school, right? Secondary school. Nursery and primary school. So, fast forward, they found themselves here and together they team up to start that school under the tree before those classrooms were built. So, you can see quality education transferring to others. <laughs> Foundation alone cannot do it. Your foundation alone cannot do it. So partnership, partnership, SDG goal 17. Say partnership and goal. Don't worry. You may not need to have one million for that one thousand naira can help. Okay. Yes. Yeah, 
The shawarma for 6,000. But it's like you said, mix is Depends on the restaurant. Fresh shed more expensive. Beat off. Why is food not ready? See, I brought all these plenty people to come and buy food. <laughs> So here's our restaurant. Community here, and you cannot even differentiate. Yeah, that's what you are about to do. I just want to take first. So you don't differentiate? You go to community and I will. But you cannot even differentiate. Yeah. I will say which one is the old one. I will say which one is the old one. No, the video was. doing you can post on your social media ask the government the government you need to the government need to be accountable you get if I do it alone it may not work but if we on our different social media if we are posting and saying government need to do something about these people it will work but if only one person does that it, it may not work so on our social media let's write ask government to, to, to be accountable to these people I cannot come and dump some people here and just disappear. Let's do our social media well. Let's ask government to be accountable to these people. I mean, there are many, many uh, estate developers around Abuja. They can come and build temporary homes for these people. Then allowing them to stay in charge like So, I want to ask, if you are here, you can spend a whole day in this place. Who can spend a night here? Who can spend a night here? Us? No, I don't want to try. Can spend a night here, no light. No light, your phone is switched out. No place to charge your phone. And you have to eat our food or their food. Can you eat your food? <laughs> she said yes, it's easier said than done. So, people live here every day of their life. Every day of their life. They're saying nice. Hey, it's nice. I mean, I mean, this solar sometimes doesn't power on. 
according to them. So they are so like mosquito, they are always under malaria, malaria, malaria. So anybody who can help us get mosquito net, I can deliver to them. Mosquito net. I shared 20 the other day. Whatever you have and you think can help people get to live a better life, we can all together achieve it. Great guys, nobody can share. Okay. Well, what you just saw is the condition of living in the IVP camp. I know a lot of questions might be popping through your minds right now. Yes, questions like, what is the government doing? What have been done so far? But one thing I can assure you, like you heard in the video, is you and I can do something. We must not leave everything for the government. We can do something. The address is shown right now on the screen. You could um, just walk in there. It's actually at the heart of Abuja, Nigeria. Yes, it's there. And you could walk in there and do something. Reach out to them. Put a smile on someone's face, like I always say in this program. So that's where we'll come to the end of today's show. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you actually got something. Please don't forget to follow us on our social media platform shared right now on the screen. Click the subscription button, like, share, and comment. On the like on your way next time, I am Chizubach Kukora. This is Golden Hat Show. We show where we meet, we talk, and we share it. Bye bye.